Right, this is just a quick video to show uh, our Canterbury Basketball Association clubs how to use Sports TG, which is what we're using for our player and team database and club database. And this also provides information to BBNZ and allows players to be registered once and use the same login over multiple accounts. So first thing you have to do as a club administrator, go to passport.sportstg.com and then you'll have to create a passport here. Um, you can use um, Facebook if you want or Twitter if you have one there or just sign in and then I'll show you what happens there. Once you have done this you do need to email james at canterbury.basketball so that I can give you access into um, your particular club. Once here on Sports TG you'll come up with a page like this and then the membership database is the one that you'll want to go into. So click on there. You can see here I'm an um, administrator for one team and two clubs. Other is the one that we'll be using here um, as an illustration for what you'll, the sort of things that you'll see. Now all players in your club need to be registered through a particular registration form. Um, James has made up a lot of the questions, sort of the bare minimum in regards to what we need in terms of Canterbury Basketball and BBNZ. If you want to get more information, you need to contact him and then he can add those questions in as well. But if you forget the link for it, go to registrations, down to registration form. And then this one here, the CBA Club Basketball Player Registration Form. And you can see I put January 19 is to when it was first made. And you will click view here, which this up here will be the link that you can send to any of your players. James should have sent this to all of you or will be if you haven't already got it, but that is there for your access. Once players have that, they'll click on it, go through the questions, and then they'll be a member in your club. You can click list members to see all of the players. So you can see we have three um, members in this one particular club, Test Alpha, which is one that I made, CBA General Manager, and CBA Referees. You should obviously have way more than three people, but once you then need to put them into particular teams. So click on the Teams tab up here. Choose the team that you want to put those players in. So CBA Hoop Squad, for example. And you can see now the level that we're working in is CBA Hoop Squad here. If we want to go back up to our club level, we click on the home. Um, but to go back into that, once again, just click Team and then CBA Hoops. Members here, if we click List Members, we'll see we have no members in this. And just make sure it's saying the 2019 season. Um, and then you can also look at active and inactive ones. And we're going to click modify team list here or modify team list from up here. Once in here, we're just going to pull our players over into the particular ones to so say Alpha Test and CBA referees were both playing in this. Then we would save that there. We can go back into our list members. And we can see that those players in there and say Test Alpha was going to play in number 13 and CBA Referees was number 21. Click in there and then just another tab until it goes green so that that will save the player number there. If you want to work in another team, same thing, go back to your home level, click on Teams and then choose one of the other ones, say Friendly Games, our other one we're going to work with. List Members, we'll see we have no members there. So we're going to modify it just from this one here and we can see the players here. You can choose to show only unassigned members and CBA general manager is the only one that's not there or we could alter the date of birth or gender to sort of make it a little bit easier to sort through your players and save them there. All of the players that are saved um, in Sports TG will automatically get pushed over to Glory League so they only have to enter their information once and you only have to do this once at the start of each season and then it should stay like that. Once again, if CBA General Manager Paul wants to have his number, so he's number 99, put it in there, click on another cell until it goes green, and then that will save it for him. Uh, the only other thing you probably need to know is how to run a report, which is under the tab called Reports, where you want to see who is in your club or who is in your teams. We'll say a club one, we're gonna click Members here, and we want to configure an advanced member one. So some of the things we might want to have from here, we're going to pull everything we want to see over into the selected fields. So say first name, uh, family name, and we'll say date of birth from there. And then we will choose to run report and we can see either display or email. So if I choose display, it will load up there and we can see the CBA general manager is there. 
Um, this is because we're in a club and a team one, sorry. If we go all the way out and then we do it when we're in the club, same thing, reports, members, advanced member. We'll drag these things over. So first name, uh, what else do we want? Date of birth and family name. And we can adjust the order there and we will choose run report. We can see here all of the players that have been on this one. But say we wanted to make sure that they were only playing this particular year, which would be what most of yours are. We go to seasons and we want to pull in season here to this one and we want to show the season equals and it has to be the 2019 season here. So now we click run report we have a look at that one and that has our three test alpha cba referees and cba general manager as all of your clubs had no members in them before we set them up and sent you the link this year you won't have that particular issue but if you're using one which is already set up like i am then that will be how you work that out uh, once you're happy with that you can click save and so i'll say this is the test report and then every time you want to see who's been in there um, you can do that. I think you can also pretty easily add the sort of year time when these players were made, but I may make another video for that. Only other option you would be interested in is instead of a display output, choose email and then say we wanted a CSV, uh, comma separated values, and then get these emailed to myself. Same thing, I make sure that it's got the reports up the top, click run report, and then it'll say Sorry, it'll ask you to check the things and then it'll say that it's been sent through to your email. Um, then you can open it in Excel and obviously have a bit more flexibility as to how you um, sort and present the data. Uh, if there's any questions or you want anything um, sort of confirmed for help, please send me an email, james at canterbury.basketball and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.